Hello there guys and welcome to episode 5 of the Leicester City story here, Fearless Foxes FM or Football Manager 2019. To open our show today, we've got something a little bit different. We've got Sheffield United coming up as you can see on screen in a full match. But for the first time today, we've got what's called the Roundup, which is a little segment you're going to see now and again going forward, which will cover some of the games we're not going to cover um, fully in the save. So we're going to go straight into the Roundup with some Premier League action against Watford and a Carling Cup tie against Swansea. And then we'll be into the live match against Sheffield United. See you in a moment. Throw in from Norton here for Swansea. Selena picks it up. Under a bit of pressure from Chowdhury. Ayu. Fulton with the strike. Bridge cut hits it. And it's 1-0 Swansea here. They've taken the lead. Against them on the play slightly. Last chance to loon now for Leicester. Free kick from Boulabouz. Plays it across the back post. And it's Mendy. And right, so it's come to a penalty shootout here. Um... Can't really believe it, but there we go. Right, let's see how this goes. We've slept our oh, takers. Boulabou's going to take the first one here for Leicester against Muller in the Swansea goal. He buries it in the bottom right. Leicester put the first one away. We've got the penalty system that goes up and down, one to one. Yep, here we go. But McBurney gets one back here for Swansea. Oh, here's Perez now for Leicester to make it 2-1. And he buries it down the middle. Good penalty. I really want to get through this round. We've dominated the game, really. McKay with a penalty, buries it 2-2, equal up again. Mendy got the equaliser for Leicester, the take of the penalties right of the death. Mendy's penalty saved, he can't be a hero twice in one day. <sighs> We've got Ayu against Ward, Ayu through the middle. We're now in a position where Ricardo really wants, has to score this. And Ricardo straight at the goalkeeper, you can see it coming. We're not going to be winning the Carabao Cup this year. All Montero needs to do is bury this past Danny Ward and Leicester City's um, Carling Cup, sorry, um, Carabao Cup run is going to be over at the first round phase. Montero with a penalty. Danny Ward makes a save. It's not over yet. This could be a crucial moment. Could be a crucial, crucial moment. Harvey Barnes now. He's got a good composure. That's why I put him right back here as our last penalty taker because his composure is excellent. But he's got to score it. He's got to score this penalty. Harvey Barnes, and he does. Puts it in the top right. Beautiful penalty. And now this one needs to be saved. And it's Fulton, the youngster, coming up against Danny Ward. Can Danny be a hero? Two penalties back to back. I can barely watch. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Let's keep this going. Danny doesn't. Swansea score. Swansea win on penalties here. We are out of the Carling Cup at the first round phase. Right, we've got a corner to Watford here. Pereira takes a success. Oh, and Cathcart's at the back post are marked, and that's that. So as we head into the international break, we officially now are <laughs> bottom of the Premier League after our home defeat to Watford. Four games, one point against nine-man Spurs. We definitely need that international break. There's going to be a lot of work going on behind the scenes as we let 24 of our lads go on off to play for their countries. Wow, yeah, a lot of work to do before we play Sheffield United, no doubt about it. Right, we're at the bottom of the league and um, 14 days to our next game away at Sheffield United. I think I might need a week's holiday just to kind of let things settle a little bit and have a good think. I'll see you in a little bit. Right, so now you're all caught up, you can see the gravity of our situation. It's official, four games in, and we are bottom of the Premier League. Yeah, we did lose that home game to Watford. It wasn't a good performance. It's not been a good week at all. Um, so now the Sheffield United game becomes of paramount importance. Of note there, you can probably see we've got a minus 10 goal difference. Let me show you why. They're off the back of, yep, there it is. They got absolutely hammered at home by Manchester City by eight goals to nil. So with that in mind, we really have to try and turn our season around today and move off the bottom of the league. The pressure is absolutely on here as we head to Sheffield United at Bramall Lane on the Friday night game. It's been a long break. We've had an international break since the roundup and since this game. So there is going to be a bit of rough, rough, rustiness perhaps. We have been working on a few things. Set piece wise, I've gone in and in the corners, I've done a few little bits here. I don't want to show you too much. I want to show you when they actually get into game if and when it happens um, we're going to play with some short corners and some different positioning so hopefully that will make a difference to our game because I think in set pieces we need to do a bit better on the injury front as you can see here 
things are starting to clear up a little bit. Danny and March, he's still got um, four days left until he's in full rehabilitation. And same with um, Johnny Evans. But... Um, yeah, things are looking a lot more brighter now. That match fitness is completely getting there now. Only a few lads lacking behind in that regard. So, yeah, it's time for that big game against Sheffield United. Right, so here's the team we're going with today. Um, while our match fitness is pretty good, um, there is a few players... Um, who've come back who aren't 100% fit so Ben Chilwell we're going to drop out for today and replace him with Christian Fuchs at left back um, same goes with Wilfred and Didi who's come back not 100% fit he'll be replaced by Chowdhury who'll play the, play the ball winning player with Tillemans playing the box to box we are going to start with Bryn Larson on the left he has got the lowest condition to start but we have got options on the bench in Damari Gray and Harvey Barnes if we need to make changes on there later so I've got quite a balanced team I'm quite happy with this All bright for some reason is inside forward I'm going to switch him to a winger on support and see if that makes a massive difference. So, right, yeah, here we go. Friday night Premier League action under the floodlights of Sheffield. Never been a bigger game in my football manager career until this moment. If I lose this after they lost 8-0 to Manchester City, my God, that is going to be absolutely crazy. Right, so Sheffield United have gone with their quite fame-free 5-2 sort of formation. Uh, Henderson in goal, Basham, Jagielka and O'Connell at centre-half. Sutton are a new signing for them and Baldock at the wing-back positions. Norwood and Fleck in the middle with Freeman up top alongside the striking options with Goldrick and Billy Sharp, who of course is a bit of a football league legend. Right, we have to win this. Come on. I expect nothing but a win tonight, lads. Come on. I have faith in you. This is it. We're sticking with that spine of that team. Apart from the players we've had to sort of drop for fitness issues in the tunnel. Wolf and indeed he's being rested. Hamza Chowdhury, I complete faith in him. Right, and off we go here. Massive, massive game here. We must get our first win of the season. Absolutely. We've got Chelsea up next, so the pressure really is on here. We'll be six games in then with only one point if we lose these two. Right. 10 minutes in, not a lot, but we're up at their end now. Baldock tries to make a clearing header, but all Brighton picks it up. Fuchs, Madison, cleared away here by um, Sheffield United. Looked to counter-attack with Billy Sharp on the halfway line. Fleck through to McGoldrick, who's in. A good block by Ricardo Pereira. Looking like on the counter-attack, we're looking a bit susceptible here again. Sheffield United up for this. Shemichael claims the corner. Right, all Sheffield United here in the first 15 minutes. This is really not working as we'd like. Right, Ricardo with the throw in. Madison, or Brighton. They've been switching positions quite a lot here. Fuchs with the cross, or Brighton with the header over the crossbar. Great opportunity for Leicester. We should have done better. Goal kick from Sheffield United. Bryn Larson coming forward on the left here. Finds Madison on the inside, or Brighton with the strike and it curls, but it's not on target. Not on target at all, so it goes into the side netting. Accuracy is letting us down. We're getting some opportunities here, but we're lacking that quality to get it in. That's the reason we brought Bruno Larson in. Hopefully, he can find a way. Vardy's going to find a way in here. What a save from Henderson. Baldock makes the, cl the scrambling clearance. Vardy completely got in behind now in a wonderful run. Bruno Larson here with a chance now. And what a goal. First goal for Leicester for Jacob Bruno Larson. He curls it in from outside the box. Wonderful strike. We're going to go to the 3D replay here. Fuchs with a throw in. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. It reminds me of that goal that we conceded against Burnley. Bruno Larson, they stood off him. He just found that far right corner. His first goal of the season. 25 million spent on him and he's off the mark. Right, that's encouraging. Sheffield United looking a bit overpowered by this after they had an encouraging start. Or Brighton, now our movement's looking better. Madison, Tillemans outside the area. The strike is blocked and it goes for a corner here. All Leicester here 25 minutes in. That's what I like to see. Can we go short? We don't. Fuchs plays it in. Henderson clears it up. The idea with the short corner there is to try and bring some players of the opposition out towards our um, players up there and then hopefully create some more space in the box if we do want to cross it in. We're approaching half time here now. Oh, this is a lot better. We still do have another couple of goals here to really put us at ease. But we're finding the space outside the box. Right, Sheffield and I are trying to counter again, but Fuchs is going to pick up the loose ball and feed it through to Madison. O'Connell with a clearing header. Tillemans outside the box trying to find space. Ricardo's going to pick it up now. Madison's got the strike. Oh, Bryn Larson hits the post. He could have got his second there just before half time. Oh, just came off the base of the post and just rolled agonisingly back towards the goalkeeper. Right, the last minute here. Bryn Larson's goal is the difference. It's the end of the first half. Good first half. Sheffield United 0, Leicester City 1. Dressing room. Encourage the players. I'm going to this time. Last time I kind of had a go at them when I felt we should have been doing better. We're only like 2-0 up to 10-man Spurs. And I think that was counterproductive. So, um, 
I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. Let's try and keep the morale up. This could backfire, but we'll give it a go. Right, we end the team talk here. And away we go for the second half. Right, can we control this game now? Can we put them out of sight here early doors? Again, we're throwing to start, which is not ideal, but there we go. Right, we've had 10 shots free on target in the first half. That's quite productive. Our possession stats are looking good. Madison with a free kick blocked well by Norwood in the wall there for Sheffield United. We're going to win a corner. We're not going to see it here. We have set up different corner tactics, like I said, for this game. So um, we didn't see the short corner in action. We saw the positioning of it, but hopefully we'll see that in a bit. Okay, Ricardo or Brighton and Madison here linking up for Leicester. Full Fuchs on the left-hand side. Cross across to Albrighton. Heads it back across. I'm not convinced Albrighton's doing the job over that at the moment. His accuracy is not great. Um, he's not playing terribly, but I would like to see if we can perhaps bring someone else on now. Um, he's a better finisher. Um, <sighs> difficult decision. I'm going to go with Damari Gray and I'm going to yeah do you know what let's give Damari Gray a go on the right hand side as a winger why not we're, we're feeling a bit punty here today I don't want to move Bryn Larson I might have switched him across because of his um, better rating to see if he can manage the position better but um, let's give um, Gray a go here Madison tries to get a free kick it doesn't get through again he's not got a free kick on target yet this season I don't think which is quite a disappointment um Anyway, time moves on here. We've made our first change. 70 minutes now on the clock. Vardy's in behind. Henderson makes a save. Vardy um, could do getting a couple more goals here just to bring his average up. Madison with the corner. It's not short. It's into the box. Gray's going to pick it up on the outside here for Leicester. He pings it back. Madison on the inside of the box. Vardy with a header. It's 2-0. There we go. That's what we like to see. That should settle the game now with 20 minutes here to go. It was a well worth bit of play there from Leicester. The corner came out. We go to 3-D. Greg pings it back across. Madison's in so much space. He's got time to think about it. Vardy with a little header. Henderson's diving. Gets a hand to it, possibly. But the keeper still can't keep it out as it nestles in the far corner. 2-0 Leicester. Right. That's going to move us right to 14th, apparently, according to this. Which is much better than what we were looking when we started this game with bottom place. Mousset's in. He's at the bar. Billy Sharp. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. We are so good at doing that in this game. It's quite worrying. Oh, Connell. Tillemans has to concede another corner here. Right, OK. Let's get shouting and demand a bit more here. We seem to take our focus off as soon as we scored. Baldock tries a wonderful effort, but it doesn't go in. God, they've still got some fight in the middle of 15 minutes to go. Wow, 10 minutes. Vardy's looking a bit anxious here. I think we're going to get Vardy off for... Um, I usually Perez with a bit of fresh legs here just to see if we can utilise that to our advantage. Tillemans... Um, might be done for Silver. Yeah, do you know what? Silver can come off for a run out. First run out of the season. Replace Yuri Tillemans here with 10 minutes to go. Osborne's in the book for Sheffield United. He's only just come on. Right, throwing to Leicester here. Sheffield United pick the ball up low and try and come away with it. moussa has been dangerous since he's come on. Billy Sharp's in. Great tackle from Sunoku there. Could have been easy. Could have been a red card there if he got it wrong. But what a world-class tackle. Unbelievable stuff from Kagla Sunoku. That's a world-class clearance. Right, out of time. Two minutes to go here. Madison, Bryn Larson, great debut here today. Oh, it wasn't his debut, sorry. I do apologise. But great start here for today for Leicester in his away game. Ricardo with the ball across. Bryn Larson tries to pick it up. He can't. Frees about to Fuchs. He's been solid again here as well. Ricardo from distance. Great diving save from Henderson. Corner to Leicester. Madison in. Chowdhury in is in. 3-0 Leicester here right at the end. Oh, no, Jacob Bryn Larson is taking the credit. And now the Vars in play. What's going on here? Hang on. Madison takes it. Chowdhury with a header. He is offside. Did it hit him and go in? Yes, it's been disallowed. What a shame. What a shame. I don't think it hit him, actually. It might have been a mistake, but hey-ho, we're still winning the game. It doesn't matter. Demario Gray here runs around with it. Plays it forward. Right, we're just literally carrying down the time here. Sheffield Knight trying to counter-attack and get a consolation. Ricardo Schmeichel boots it up pitch. Perez can't win a header. Any time now, the whistle's going to go. Sunaku with a great block there. And it's over here. We win at Sheffield United. It's only a 2-0 win. It's not Manchester City's 8-0. But we dominated the game. Well done, lads. Very happy with the way we played. End the team talk. Let's get on to this and move on now. Right. <laughs> Officially off the bottom of the league. Step in the right direction. Of course, we played for everyone else this weekend. But that is something that is a hell of a step in the right direction. We've tried to keep to that core, as you said, the whole time. Even when things were looking a bit tough early doors. We've had some tough games. But things are definitely looking up. We're going to go to the post-match press conference here to finish up. It gives us a platform to build on. Um, yeah, it was a special goal, wasn't it? It was wonderful to see him score. You know, 25 million well spent. 
Madison played very well. Right, next game, as you can see here, is going to be Chelsea. We're going to go to our schedule. Um, we'll come back and do the Chelsea game next because I think we want to see if we can carry some momentum forward into the next game. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you next episode. Cheers now.